Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beings who are in need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, plop in your headphones, snack on some donuts, and enjoy this ASMR. <laughs> Welcome back. Hmm? Oh, what are my manners? Good morning, listener. How is your morning? How are morning classes? Aw, that's lovely. Good to hear. So, did you get to make those donuts? You did? <laughs> that's amazing. I can't wait to have more during our little picnic date. We're still doing it, right? Awesome! Well, I already prepped up everything outside. Yes, we're gonna do it outside. It is a nice, lovely, sunny day. So, as long as it's not raining, so we're good. I was thinking we can do it under the uh, so-called confession tree or up on the rooftop. You choose because I wanted to make you feel more comfortable. Under the confession tree? Hmm, there has been a lot of people walking over there, so I'd suggest the rooftop. At least it'll just be the two of us. Aw, don't get it all worked up, sweetie. It'll just be very nice. We'll just enjoy our lunch, maybe get to know each other, and, you know, that's about it. <laughs> you kind of remind me of someone I used to know. Yeah. Ever heard of the girl Nene Yashiro? You know, the, the one with the daikon legs. <laughs> Wait, you know her? Oh, are you two friends? Or, uh, members of the family? Oh, well that's nice. Let me tell you, she's a very nice girl and kind of crazy sometimes, but she's a total sweetheart. Huh? No, she wasn't my girlfriend. I mean, yeah, I do tease her a lot, and, I mean, it's playfully, but, you know, as a ghost and as a spirit, it's kind of hard, you know, for the living and a ghost to fall in love. Plus, uh, it turns out I wasn't really her type. She's not a- she's not into guys who are four foot eleven. Yeah, I'm a really short guy. <laughs> huh? Aw, you like short guys? Hmm, that makes me feel special. I mean, sure, you're a bit taller than me, but <laughs> I can make this work. All right, we made it to the rooftop. Now, let me set everything up in our blankets. There we go. Huh? Where did I get it from? Uh, let's just say I took a trip from one of our, um, classes. I don't know, they have a blanket for some reason. Okay, um, I also got some tea. I don't know what kind, so I got so many types of tea for both of us. And I guess you got your lunch. Well, I enjoy my donuts. Oh, don't worry, I will share. <laughs> Sharing is caring, you know? Okay, let's set everything up. Of course I want to help. Plus, you've been doing a lot of studying and everything. I thought a man would like to help you. A ghost, technically, helping you. It is my pleasure. Now, yeah, let's sit down and eat. Uh, I can't wait to have these donuts. I bet they're like heaven like yesterday. Oh, I'm not just saying that just to be nice. It's the truth. They're really, ha they're really like, oh, mouth-watering. Mm. Mm. Same as yesterday. So amazing. Hmm? What's behind me? Oh! What are you doing out here of the building? Oh, you smell the donuts, do you? Aww. Oh, 
Maybe it's not the donut. It's candy. Oh, you don't know? This is our one of our wonders of the school. It's a moke. What, are you expecting it to look grotesque and scary looking? Mm, not into my eyes. I see them as cute little harmless and gentle little bunnies that are always about sweets. Here, hold it. Don't worry, it won't turn into a monster when you get to hold it. It's actually very harmless. And they talk too. Aww. I think he likes you. And I think it senses you have candy. Aww. <laughs> this is actually going to be a very nice picnic. Don't worry, they're not evil. Plus, it's how I visualize them, as cute little bunnies. I actually enjoy little bunnies. They're like a few of my favorite animals, such as cats, dogs, and any other adorable little fuzzballs. Mm, don't make me blush. Yeah, I can be a gentle boy. Oh, so you're into sweet guys that has favorite little animals. Hmm, it's kind of funny. It's like I'm your dream boy. <laughs> yeah, you're into short guys, softies, that loves adorable animals. Maybe a little pervert that enjoys donuts. Tell me, am I really your dream boy that you've ever dreamed of? <laughs> I mean, sure, it could be forbidden for a spirit in the living to get along. Maybe I can give it a try. Well, I do have a certain type for a girl. I like a girl who's... And I don't know, short or tall, doesn't matter what size you are, whether or not you're skinny or curvy or a little chub-chub. And I really do go for sweet personalities. Yeah, well, the look of you, you seem like my type. What do you say we can make this work? This will count as our first date. And maybe soon. It could be more than just friendship. What do you say, listener? Boop. <laughs> oh my god. You totally fell for it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, again, you can't hit me. I'm a ghost. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Hey, I'm not playing with your emotions. I just like teasing. Yeah, that's another thing about me. I like to tease. <laughs> Come on, you liked it. Don't lie to me. Yeah, I see that smile on your face and the blush and the way you look at me. <laughs> You're so cute, listener. I think we're gonna get along really well. Sadly, when you graduate soon. Well, I'm stuck here. I mean, I'm one of the seven wonders and I don't grow up. All I do is just check on one of the other wonders to see if they're doing their job correctly and protecting it from other students and keeping the rumors as true as possible. Hmm. You're a first year, right? Which means we have only a few years together. Hmm. You know, I've never said this to any other girl because, you know, I'm always too busy granting wishes in the bathrooms. I'm seeing a spark on you. I just feel like I can see us really getting along. If only if I was alive, we could always hang out every day after school. Like, do anything, like go to a park, go get lunch. Maybe if I was alive, maybe we can give this dating thing a chance. Yeah. 
Anyways, um, how's your lunch? Wow, it even looks good as well. I bet you made it as well. Oh, your mom did? Aww. <laughs> That's really cute. Um. Oh, looks like the bell's going to ring soon. Huh, if only this picnic date, like, lasts forever. I was thinking we can meet again, after school. It, I mean, if you have any activities going on, or I heard you picked an elective. Oh, you're taking art. Well, maybe I'll see you there. Maybe you could, I don't know, self-portrait, or you're more than welcome to draw me or paint me. I've always liked to see myself as a painting. Oh, you were planning to. Well, I shall be your model. <laughs> well, of course. I mean, you're seeing me outside. Hmm. Oh, there goes the bell. Well, I'll let you go to class right now, and I'll see you in the art, the art club. Oh, and listener, one more thing. Oh, it's nothing. Sure, you may not feel it, but it is there. A cold kiss from a spirit. Anyways, see you after class. Hmm. Moki, I think, that, I think that's enough candy for you right now. Don't worry, I got plenty more in the stalls. Come on, you little chub chub. Let listener go to class. Don't worry, we'll get to see her. Hmm. If I was alive, I would love to ask her out. I do hope Tsukasa doesn't get to see her soon. I wonder what he's up to. Thank you.